Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for the next seven days. So we are going to start with Taurus, and we're going to see what comes up. We're going to get one of these, and then we're going to use this deck right here. This is for the week ahead for Taurus. What do we have for the week ahead? Well, that's, that's your card, right? I mean, this is the Hierophant Faith. It's about listening to your inner guide, believing in yourself. So, this is, uh, it's funny that I took the owl out because the owl is the symbol of the highest intuitive wisdom. And that is exactly what that card is. So, apparently, you will be receiving your messages from your intuition. So, really, really, really pay attention to your inner guide and believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Do not do not doubt your gut for any reason. That's what the next seven days is about. It's your inner knowing, knowing that something is. It's like you know, you know, don't doubt it. Whatever it is, listen. This is uh, grieving. Hmm. Sadness. Um... Now, the Nine of Cups, that's a deep bond. The Nine of Cups in reverse. So some, that's a deep bond. Could be with this person right here. You could be dealing with an individual who can't master their emotions. Somebody that isn't um, emotionally available. Somebody who doesn't communicate well. Somebody who is, is withdrawing. Um, there's, there's some sort of uh, grieving here. There's sadness. So this person could be sad, or you may be sad, or somebody, there's sadness over the bond, and this is holding on, so somebody is still holding on very tightly to something, but not really focusing on a relationship, not focusing on companionship, um, you know, this is going backwards, this is a run of bad luck, so somebody may have been going through a run of bad luck that has brought them backwards, and really caused them to not focus on a relationship, you know? Some, but there's still a deep bond here. Um, and this is holding on. Somebody's probably focusing too much on everything but a relationship. You know, focusing on money, focusing on their job. Uh, maybe there's too many irons in the fire. Somebody has too many things going on that is causing them to probably withdraw or retreat or shut down emotionally. This is an obsession. So somebody could be obsessed. Obsessed with holding on to something that they feel is wish fulfillment. They, they feel that it is, you know. I need to get some more cards. They feel like it is something that they can build on. This is dashed expectations. So somebody has had some dashed expectations. Things aren't aren't progressing the way that they thought it was going to.
this is slow and slow and steady so somebody is taking their sweet time somebody is taking their time on making a decision of some sort or on moving forward and I think it's they're taking their time because they're working on their stability we have somebody here who that is unstable whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with this person is emotionally unstable crying um, withdrawn angry upset may use this person may use emotional blackmail as a tactic to get their way they may be looking for sympathy um, this is needing to have strength so somebody is needing to have strength to keep going Oh, this is a blockage. Somebody may be blocking. Somebody may be finding their inner strength to hold on. Because these are both holding on. Somebody is holding on to what they have rather than giving it. Somebody is holding on. Maybe it takes strength to do that. We, we could have somebody over here that is... is um, it's like you got to protect yourself. It's almost like you you could be dealing with a person, Taurus, who is is mean. Okay, this person, I mean, maybe mean isn't the right word. This person is, is emotionally unbalanced. Okay, this person, and and when they get emotionally unbalanced, they may act out of anger or, you know, use. It's all, all I can think of is emotional blackmail. You could be dealing with somebody who, or the silent treatment. You know, this person will sees themselves as a victim and may try to turn things around to you know, get their way. Anyway, um, this is blocking, stopping all communication. So somebody may be um, putting something to a complete halt. They may, you know, the expectations have been dashed. We're going backwards. We're not going forwards. We got somebody here who is, you know, a relationship could be definitely on the rocks. There's fighting, there's bickering. There's obsessions. There could even be addictions here. There could be. There could be. It feels as though in this person, this is probably this could be you, Taurus, who is like, you know, I have something big here. This is a this guy has that ace of pentacles in his hand. It's like he, you know, this person is very stable, solid, has a plan, follows through, and you know, um it looks like they, like somebody is turning their back. This person is is turning their back on this person. You know, and putting it to a complete halt. So we, ha I think we have somebody here that is finding their inner strength. Their, you know, um, ability to to like basically not move forward. We're not going to, we're not going to move forward with this. I'm going to turn my back on this situation. I'm going to walk away as hard as it is. So I think we have somebody here that is turning their back on a, and it's sad. I think it is sad. It's sad that. You know, somebody is, you know, this is self-worth. I know my worth. I, I know my value. Um, so I need to put this to a complete halt and, and find my dignity here. So I think we have somebody here that is deciding to, you know, put a complete halt to some sort of partnership or relationship or something because um, there's some sort of greediness here. This person may be greedy. It could be dealing with water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or this person could is definitely emotionally unstable either way. Somebody is leaving. Somebody is walking away. Somebody is moving on because it's it's time to just get to a better place. I can't stay in this. Well, it's troubled waters. Yeah, it's conflict. We got somebody here that has been dealing with a lot of fighting or conflict. Or it's like a lose-lose situation. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, you can't win. So you have somebody here that it looks like they're moving away from a bond. They're, it probably seemed like it was wish fulfillment at the beginning. That's the very first card. At the beginning, it seemed too good to be true. Okay? But I feel like now we got some sadness going on because... You know, um, there's been some deception. There's been some lies. There's been some sort of betrayal here. It's like something is something's been hidden. There's been, and that, this is my favorite deck. So we use it all the time. Five of swords, five of swords, six of swords, seven of swords. This is okay. When you get them like this, this this is fate. When they come in order, so we have a fated change here. Somebody is deciding to turn their back on a lose lose situation. Okay, they are. Somebody is like, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to.
put myself in this situation anymore. But we do have somebody here that is watching the whole thing. So there's this could be an outsider. This could be somebody else who is watching. This person is... This person could be watching... Mm. This guy is... Uh, This is rejection. This is a rejection. This is like a midlife crisis. We have somebody in this, in your story, Taurus, whether it's you or the other person, that is going through some sort of midlife crisis. This person is probably in not very focused at all. This person is not in the right mindset. This person is very much, I need to win at all costs, no matter what. You know what I mean? This, it's almost like an obsession here. We got somebody here that could be greedy and obsessed. And, um, you know, somebody, I think we have somebody here that is deciding, you know, to, somebody may be deciding to go their own way. Go their own way. Because the other person, these are just cue cards for me, is going through, so, is not awake. This person's not awake. This person is not aware. This person is um, <laughs> trouble. This person is trouble. So, it definitely. So, I think we have, in the week ahead, we have somebody that is taking their, themselves, because I think this is probably you, Taurus, I don't know, finding the inner strength to take themselves out of a situation that's not love. You know, this, this isn't love. It's unrequited love. There's no love being offered. There's no love here. They're shutting down their emotions. There's been too much chaos. There's been too much upheaval. Things have been turned upside down. It was somebody probably made a poor decision, and now they're they're stopping it. It's like I'm I'm putting this to a halt. I made a, I made a poor decision. I gotta get my stability back. I gotta get my security back. I gotta work on myself. You know, this guy is very practical. I gotta do the right thing, even if it means that I gotta walk away from this mess up here. We got a mess here. Somebody has involved themselves in some sort of mess that has, you know. But this is a uh, thinking about this guy is looking back. This guy is looking. And this, this might be the same guy who is obsessed and keeps wanting to come back, wanting to come back or want, looking back or watching or something. Be careful. Be careful because this is something that you need to be careful about. We got somebody here who is pretty sneaky. We have a sneaky individual who wants to win at all costs. So just be careful. And I feel like we have this other person over here that is finding their inner strength and courage and confidence and dignity and willpower to gracefully bow out. It's like, you know, I'm just going to hold on to what I have to offer. You know, I know my worth. I know my value. I'm not going to move forward with this because this is just, you know, I don't want to, this isn't the kind of love relationship I'm looking for. Um, but this is Four of Cups Reverse. This is seizing an opportunity for love. Um, letting go of regret. So I think what has happened is somebody has seized an opportunity and it didn't work out and there's regrets and this you need to let go. You need to let go of the regrets. Don't waste your time focusing on that when just, just let it go. Um, whatever this is, it probably wasn't real love. It wasn't emotionally balanced for sure. It's like it was, uh, there was no love there. Um, there's an emotional shutdown here. Somebody is, is like <sighs> becoming emotionally unavailable in a relationship. It's like this per it's like one person did it and the it's just like re almost like I've I've changed my mind. I this is not what I was looking for. So this Knight of Pentacles. This was a test. Somebody's worth was being tested. This is worth. The strength card is about self-worth. And this is a test. Somebody's self-worth was is, is or was being tested. Probably by a false relationship. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. This is be careful. I mean, you get the Nine of Pentacles. This is a, you need discipline. You must take action. Listen. You don't need another person to con to listen. This is listen, and this is listen. 
You don't need another person to complete you. You complete you. Somebody is deciding to go their own way. I don't, I don't, I'm going to work on my own abundance. I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to work on my self-worth. I may have not known my worth in the past. I may have made some serious mistakes by the looks of things, but I don't want to invest in a relationship like that. And I'm going my own way. So I think we have somebody here that is taking their power back taking action to change their direction, finding the willpower, finding the discipline, finding any tool that they need within themselves to bring success. If that includes walking away from somebody that has been using victim mentality and emotional blackmail and, uh, <laughs> well, that's what they've been using, but they've been causing a lot of arguments. There's been a lot of pettiness. There's been a lot of conflict. There's been a lot of power struggles. This, whoever this person is that this whoever is dealing with is there's like it's a midlife crisis mode and somebody may have been rejected and they they're not happy some so that's why i said be careful up here because when you reject somebody sometimes they retaliate and the word retaliate came up early so just be careful be really careful um yeah, I mean, there could be, if, if this hasn't happened yet, I mean, this is for the next seven days. So this is to come, right? It's to come. There could be a fight. I mean, there definitely could be some sort of fight. There could be some sort of um, argument, fight, petty bullshit that um, causes somebody to retreat and block communication, shut down communication, decide to go their own way. You know what? This is not what I want. And then we have this person that wants to come back. They're obsessed and... Uh, they cause trouble and then we have this person that moves away from the trouble um, just finds their strength and willpower to basically you know block this whole situation this isn't meant to be um, I'm taking my power back I, I this you know so I think there will probably be some sort of um, altercation per se this isn't the most beautiful reading but I think that somebody's in an unrequited love situation that they have just probably realized this isn't it. The main focus for the week is to believe in yourself. I know the meaning of this card considering I'm a Taurus. It's time to deepen your own practice. It's time to work on me. It's time for me to listen. Some of you are probably uh, changing up your, your religion a little bit. But this, is, this week is about following your own path and listening and really going deep to figure out what your path is and believe in yourself and setting clear, clear intentions to go your own way and to just listen to what your soul needs. So that's what this week is about. I think we have somebody here that is deciding to listen. You don't complete me. I complete me. And that's probably going to be the just of the conversation, whatever, or altercation that comes up. I see you know, somebody is in a situation where it's not love. It is not. Good luck.